Well, we're glad to know you're still there and watching uh, The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We are now going to look at what is brewing in the, um, in the oil sector, as, is, as it were. Uh, the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ipman, uh, yesterday asked its members uh, to shun a proposed strike over alleged extortion by petroleum tanker drivers PTD. Their situation in the statement refuted allegations of extortion of 200,000 naira against the tanker drivers. It also urged the federal government to grant its members licenses to import petroleum products. Uh, right now, uh, we are being joined by our guest uh, to uh, talk to us on that. And our guest is Chief Ukadike Chinedu, the Ipman National Public Relations Officer. Good morning and welcome to the program, uh, Chief Chinedu. Yeah, good morning, my brother, and good morning, Nigeria. Okay, uh, well, um, the topic is that uh, there's this allegation against your organization or your association that there's been um, extortions from, uh, on the tanker drivers, and you're refuting that. What even is the reason for the smoke that you're saying there is no fire? Uh, well, uh, you know... Uh, some group of people uh, that were being misguided and uninformed, you know, who have decided to compress fast to be able to, be able to gain a very cheap, uh, let's call it a cheap political goal, and also destroy the tranquility we are not enjoying in the oil and gas industry. You know, woke up one morning and uh, decided to better themselves, you know to start uh, uh, making some uh, unguided statements uh, against uh, the tanker drivers, the petrol tanker drivers of Lupin. And uh, as the spokesman of the organization, uh, I was also informed of that uh, gathering. You know, and uh, well, quickly I informed the National Executive Council led by Anaji and my depot. Uh, who uh, called our members in the north because the people alleged that they are marketers from the north. Uh, so they called our members in the north. Uh, uh, our senior chairman to be able to find out if there is such uh, information. But the senior chairman in turn denied that uh, there was no such gathering and uh, there was not give any consent. Because as far as independent market are concerned, we have three tiers of uh, executives. We have finished uh, executives. We also have the general executives. And we have the national executives. It relies on the front burner of the national executive council. If we have any discrepancy or any issue uh, bothering on lazy collection or extortion, by Lupin, uh, 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 we have an internal mechanism whereby we have a tripartite agreement whereby we, the NATO, the Lupin, CTD, and Ipman normally sit down to be able to resolve some issues, you know, bothering on uh, logistics and building uh, of petroleum products. Whereby those internal mechanisms have not been exercised, uh, the independent market uh, will not, or a mitigation, uh, to go on air and start inciting marketers who are acclimatizing themselves with this deregulation policy to go on strike and uh, sabotage the effort of government. So quickly, we issued a statement on that, and I think uh, that statement that we have issued has put that to rest. And we have also asked security agencies uh, to investigate those groups and find out whether they are being politically motivated, not economic motivated. Yeah, but, you know, tanker drivers saying that they are being extorted and you're saying there's nothing like extortion and all that. Is there, is there some kind of fracas between the Ipman and the tanker drivers particularly? 
or what why do you think this came up the, it, it's very very unfortunate uh, you know for somebody to just level uh, those malicious allegations against uh, our own drivers who are also driving our post-petroleum product that they are collecting 200,000 naira, you know, uh, from us before they know their post-petroleum product. It is unfounded. It's ever unfounded. This, most of the drivers you, they are talking about are employees of IPMA. Most of them drive for us. So there is no way we will go to the public and say we will not go and load. Who are going to load the product? That we will not go and load. Uh, because our own tanker driver, who are also working for us, who are calling the streets and roads of Nigeria, trying to ensure that they deliver our petroleum products to them, are now exhorting us. Who is running Peter to pay for? Is it? I want, you know, when you find some people who are just trying to uh, notice me and uh, be the body, uh, also trying to be they are being paid, you know, to be able to see how they can be able to put pana in the wheel, while we are all trying to see how we can be able to gather ourselves together to see what we can do in this in the challenges before us and import our own petroleum product and set our market. The, the most basic interest of independent market is to see how we can be able to get this well cheap. I'll say what an NDPR. Yeah, Chief Kadike, you know, listening to the story, it just um, doesn't add up because, uh, first of all, 200,000 naira is a lot of money, cannot be hidden, um, and you cannot pay someone such money or collect such money from someone without some sort of evidence. That's one. And then, two, you then begin to ask what might be the gain of anyone who. Uh, maybe sabotaging or trying to sabotage the process, what might be their gain? If they are alleging that uh, their own drivers are collecting 200,000, they would have shown me proof of how they pay the 200,000 naira to their, their own drivers. The loader uh, expenses is what we marketers willingly give our drivers to go and load our products. And we also would dispatch. There is no way you would dispatch your driver from Portaco to Lagos without giving him feeding money, without giving him diesel money, without giving him toll gate money to pay awareness. Well and also, let's make some expenses in case if the vehicle breaks down on the road. It is not only an issue of looping, it is an issue of where independent marketers can be able to call their drivers and sit down with them and ask them what is the local expenses now. How are you moving? What, how much diesel are we giving to you from here now to Lagos? So if somebody will come out and tell you that he's spending 200000 to go and lose product, this is his product. If he doesn't want to spend the money, he should stop giving his driver. He should, re he should re re reside with the money. So if somebody is coming out to come and say lie and leave it out to such allegation without proof, because independent marketers, the city doesn't collect any money from for us. What money will give is we give to our own driver. There's nowhere you go. And PTV of no thing will ask a uh, fund member to go and pay them. No. Any money, if I'm losing my company now, really, like Nigeria Limited, if I'm losing, I will pay, I will give my money to my driver. The money I will give for his dispatch, I will keep him. If, he, if I don't give him, he will go and lose. So there is so no uniformed. The yeah, there's no uniform amount. It's that on your no own discretion, amount. individual discretion. So if, it, if, it, if it is a business you are doing, it's your own discretion. It is what you will decide to give to your driver. It's the money you will give your driver, you will still get money. Sometimes you give him feed your feeding money. Sometimes you give him your diesel money. Okay. So at, at, at what point did the pretty uh, of the bank interfere with your business? Okay, Chief, you've just said, you've just said that it is possible that people are being sponsored to do this. How far have you gone to get to the bottom of this? Because just hearing that uh, tanker drivers might go on strike or Ipman might go on strike brought some frenzy into some cities. People were panicking and all that because that's a very critical sector that you are operating in. 
So how far have you gone to make sure that these people are found out and possibly brought to book so that this kind of panic cannot be uh, put in the minds of people, in, of Nigerians, who depend a lot on what you do in your sector, in the oil and gas sector? I, I want to reassure Nigerians uh, through this media. And we have also debunked uh, those myths in uh, some press statements released by our national secretary. That no member of this point is going on strike. Our stations are open. We are waving also trying to see how we can be able to serve uh, change power. We want to support the, uh, this administration by selling our product. We, want, we are ready to serve. This is the business. If we close our selling station and our money is being tied down, who are we doing? Are, are we doing the federal government? Are we doing that? We are going to serve our energy in the, in the, in the, in the, the regulation regime. No right thinking human being. No right thinking human being. And we are whatever. We are ready to serve. Right thinking human being. No right thinking human being. And we are whatever. With this kind of condition, we are fine ourselves that will ask uh, uh, marketers to stop uh, loading their products and selling their petroleum products. No right thinking human being. Those people does not mean, man, uh, mean well for independent petroleum marketers. Or and they don't have such rights to make such things. And I also want to reassure Nigeria that independent marketers, we are not going on strike. And there's nothing like any strike anywhere. That everybody should go about and do their business. Those who are trying to uh, score political points or who are trying to sabotage this uh, deliberation process, please, should please be warned. And security agencies should go after them to find their apple and let them bring out their, their receipts in which they use in paying their drivers 200000 to load one single truck of product. I want to uh, uh, bet you that they have no petroleum product in China. You can't even get up to 200,000 when you finish really selling your petrol product. So why would you pay 200,000? I don't know who is giving them such figures. Because both those uh, group of people that are gathered there, most of them are not marketers. Mm. And they are not the members of this man. They are not the executive of this man. So coming to the public to go and brag with themselves and uh, find how to go and sabotage the, uh, the economy of this country. It's what the, the DSS and the police should watch out. Okay. For such a, on, on, on guided actions and uh, on, on, on flimsy excuses that uh, petrol second drivers are committed to 200,000 men. Ah. It's unimaginable. Okay. Uh, well, uh, let's digress a little bit, but it's still in your, in your uh, something on your table. We'd like to have updates all the time when we have the opportunity to talk with you because we're concerned about when. Uh, petrol will the cost of petrol will likely come down if ever it will come down and that will depend also on your ability to also import the product so that so many people importing the products at the same time maybe will bring the cost down a little bit so how far so far into the uh, issue of um, importing fuel by your members are you getting closer? Right now, we only know of the five or six people who were given licenses. Are more people collecting licenses, or are there challenges that you're facing in getting the licenses to import? Yeah, the most important thing, the mission and vision of a right-thinking organization, such as this man, is to find a way to import their petroleum product themselves and be able to compete with NGPR and so on that go to as more people the federal government has issued licenses. Mm. Like I told you, after one uh, uh, executive council meeting last month, the National Executive Council mandated me and some of the delegates to travel to Houston in the United States of America uh, to be able to discuss with our financiers on the best way to be able to export our petroleum products and be able to sell. And I just respond from the script and I, as quickly as possible, we will reconvene the next. Yeah. We will reconvene the next. Uh, to be able to give them uh, information and uh, fact-finding mission 
uh, result of what we have done. And also, our license is in progress, I think, uh, by now, by the time I, I, I see that we will endorse the Passado with ensuring uh, that the federal government issue license to us. Uh, we'll also brief the next so that we can marry these two. This is what an association is meant for. The, 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 the framing of our, our, our being uh, executive, the executive of this association is to ensure that we have a seamless distribution of petroleum products at the cheapest level. We don't want the session where we we'll get the work, but we we'll get the job. That is why we are trying to juggle uh, this issue of importation of petroleum products so that we can deal with the important products and complete. We will not be at the mercy of NDPR anymore since the window has been open. And uh, I also want to let you know that there is sufficient petroleum products uh, that is made available. And uh, we in the Benin market, as a am talking to you now, we are loading in all our depots to ensure that the petroleum product is distributed and not a mix and correct of this country. Yeah, we, we, we know we know there might be fuel. Uh, availability is different from the ability of people to buy, and we're looking for a time when it will come down. But, you, you know, but this is a, this is a critical question here, uh, sir, uh, sir. This is a critical question here. License has not been issued to us. Okay. Because license has not been issued to us to deliver it to you. Why? And you also... In a, you also see in our press statement, because there are procedures, you also see in our press statement uh, that we are also urging the uh, federal government to ensure that the process of uh, uh, giving us a parcel license in line with our discussions with our, 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 our collaborators and uh, our, uh, our funder will help us be able to get our petroleum products to hopefully before the end of uh, August. Because we've seen some headlines, we've seen some headlines that licenses have been given to Dangote and I think three or four other uh, companies to import fuel. So, yeah. I, so, I, so we were wondering, are these people even part of Ipman? Are they known to you, even if they are not part of Ipman? Because we kind of like know only Dangote. We don't know the five others. They said six licenses, I think, that were given out. We know only Dangote. Do you know the other five? And are they part of Ipman or not? I, no, I also believe that uh, some of the other parts might be members of Moman and uh, maybe some. Is the, the issue of uh, licenses and individual things, it is not hindered on us and us and association, but because of our corporate existence and our off-taker off status in the, in, the, in, the, in the entire system, uh, that is why we are applying so that we can be able to reach our members. So that uh, will not be at the mercy of the major market as and, and the NNPPR and the uh, and MoMA. And so when, when market forces are, begin to determine, how much do you think, what is the lowest that you think Nigerians I, I, can I, begin I, to I, buy fuel eventually? I, 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 I'm, I'm telling Nigerians that they should be expressing petrol products within the range of 300 to 400 by the time uh, the, uh, the demand and supply testing. And uh, I also believe that if the Panama gets us uh, price to be the cheapest, then we will sell the best. Mm. Well, we thank God for small messes. <laughs> if it gets to 300, maybe things will, no, will calm uh, down. De definitely, definitely it will get. I reassure you that definitely it will get. We are even praying for less than that, if it's possible, 250, 200, no voila. Uh, but it will, it, will come, it will even come to 200 because. Uh, that was also so we are clamoring for a local exactly because that's the first point exactly. for all of this with all of these stories mm. so refineries our local refineries should be made to work that is that should have been the first step and mm. that's been the call from nigerians let the refineries work so we try we we'll stop talking about importing fuel for goodness sake it's it's, it's funny it's such it's an embarrassment we're talking about importing fuel importing fuel uh, petroleum products. It's abnormal, you know, for a country that is producing uh, crude oil and uh, at the end of the day, we are now going to say the crude oil to that. We are at the mercy of those who can refine oil. our products. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, Chief. Chief, thank you so much for uh, coming on the sh uh, show to uh, give us more information about the things that were worrying us uh, all this while. We, it's always a pleasure having you. Uh, no
All right. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. And before we go, we'll give you the quote of the day. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Chief Ukadike uh, Chinedu is Itma National Public uh, Relations Officer and is talking to us about the, the rumor that uh, the members of that sector might go on strike. And he cleared the matter and said that there's nothing like that. And whatever was said was just a rumor. But right now, like uh, um, Maureen said, let's just leave you with the final quote for the day. And this is coming from Thomas Edison. He says, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. So whatever the matter might be in your life, do not give up. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. And I am Maureen Menno Thanks for your time. Join us tomorrow for the breakfast. <laughs>